Welcome back, everybody. This is Brian Kirk with Eat to My Own Beat, taking the road less traveled with another episode of News from the World featuring Afghanistan. We've been talking about Afghanistan for the past few weeks. We're going to continue on that trend. Uh, this is an article from Euronews.com. It was read, written by Ben Turner. Uh, it came out at 4.41 uh, Pacific Standard Time, I believe. Uh, Girls, the biggest losers after a year of Taliban rule in Afghanistan. Uh, Girls are bearing the biggest brunt of Taliban rule in Afghanistan, according to a new report by Save the Children. Nearly a year since the group swept back to power, young girls are more likely than boys to be isolated, hungry, and depressed, research shows. Save the Children found that almost half of the girls in Afghanistan are not attending school, compared to 20% of boys. It also found that a quarter of girls showed signs of depression compared to 16% of boys. Girls are bearing the brunt of deteriorating situation, said Chris Nayamdi, Save the Children Country Director of, in Afghanistan. Nayamdi added, they are bo- missing more meals, suffering from isolation and emotional distress, and are staying home while boys go to school. This is a humanitarian crisis, but also a child rights catastrophe. Save the Children found that economic crisis, drought, and the new Taliban restrictions on school for the girls have shattered girls' lives. Uh, the charity said girls in it is interviewed reported an increased demand for child marriages to help improve their family's income situation. The Taliban came to power last August after leading an offensive across Afghanistan following the withdrawal of the U.S. troops from this country. Nayamdi urged the international community to provide humanitarian funding to Afghanistan to improve the situation for the country's children. He said the solution cannot be found in Afghanistan alone. The solution lies in the corridors of power and the offices of our global political leaders. If they do not provide immediate humanitarian funding and find a way to revive the banking system and support the spiraling economy, children's lives will be lost and boys and girls will lose their childhoods to labor, marriage, and rights violations. So that is definitely something that we have to worry about in the world. Um, It's not right for men and women to be treated differently based on their sex, religion, or anything like that. Everyone should be treated equally. Everyone should be given the same rights as everyone else. There is no reason why a woman is less than a man. And I believe that um, Afghanistan's got a far way to go, especially with the Taliban in control there, to um, rectify the situation there. And when it's happening to children, especially when children under the age of 10 or 11 are suffering from depression already, that's that's a scary thought. Um, They, they need to be able to live their lives, and that's not what is happening in some countries in the world, not just in Afghanistan, but in many other countries in the world where women are seen as less. Anyways, um, next week we'll go go back to Afghanistan and feature some more stories. I hopefully it'll be more positive news next week, but I'm sincerely doubt that, but I will hope for the best. So until next time, keep eating your own beat, take the road less traveled, and have a great day.